I'm Robert Bradfield continuing our team coverage and while talks of reopening some businesses soon may be good news for others. It's easier said than done, including the owner of the St. John's house bed and breakfast. They're keeping their doors closed until November. I don't think that a couple of weeks worth of income is worth the risk, quite frankly. April and May are typically two good months for Joan Moore, but the coronavirus was an unexpected guest. Her bed and breakfast is closed, and even if non-essential businesses are given the green light to reopen, she has no plans to. I don't think I'm real different from a lot of people in the city that are all of a sudden find themselves without income. However, Moore is unlike many of her neighbors. Her business, a bed and breakfast, is also where she lives. Because of that, state law requires Moore to be closed six months out of the year. From June to November, Moore has no guests, which is why she was banking on April and May, but she's now considering those months to be a bust. To lose the two months prior to that, which is a big part of our budgeting for the summer, hurts. Moore had to cancel on several repeat customers, turning away one couple she's known for 20 years and a man who visits from Australia. She's hoping they return, just as many other business owners along the first coast begin to think about their own return to normalcy. Moore has her sights set on the fall. And I'll be taking uh, bookings over the summer for that time and hope that everything's fine and we'll be able to open. Moore has been in business for 28 years and she says she has no plans to sell or shut down for good. As for the coronavirus, she says it's simply outstate its welcome. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side. Mm.